Retro writing. And the primary reason is uh, uh, it has a silicon graphics uh, board, uh, board, uh, board that I have two of them actually, so this will be a fun experiment because when I get done, I'll be able to compare. They both came from the same recycler stream at the same time, so I imagine they look similar. But basically, this, if you can tell or not, is actually yellow, so it's, it's a lovely granite. It's supposed to be granite. This is, uh, I think, must be PVT granite keycaps because they. You know, it's a crappy river gnome, so I'm going to be converting this to um, Cherry MX somehow. But, but these are not yellowed, so I believe they're PB, PBT uh, with uh, laser etching. They look pretty high quality to me. Um, they're clean, they're clean now. Uh, and if I flip this over, maybe you'll be able to tell the, the, light, the difference on camera. Probably not. But anyways, this is a nice dark gray. This, this is, is like, like a pea green gray, pea green, you know, pea, pea green pea soup gray. Uh, pretty pretty horrid, actually. <coughs> so I'm hoping. I've heard, you know, retro writing on colored stuff, unlike non-beige. People haven't had great success, uh, especially with like colored keycaps that I've heard. But I haven't heard about cases, so we'll find out. But I just kind of put this, and I was like, what else needs should I, you know, there's room for two, so I basically uh, looked at my RetroWrite setup, and I do believe I have room for two to go into the batch, so I want, this obviously is super yellow, you can see the lighter color where, like, the WordPress uh, overlay macros, these are little nubs that you can put that overlay, so that must have been on there. Um, look at this, you know, this is traditional where... These are actually nice, uh, not, they, they must be, be like UBT, but then the space bars, obviously ABS, and the case is ABS because it's roaming yellowed. Um, yeah, yeah, so we're going to do a teardown on this so that I can get these both in the, uh, and then I haven't done a retro writing in a few months, so that'll be the next uh, video. So this will just be basically teardown uh, of this CDK 2. Well, I've never seen the side one, so hopefully we can get it open and uh, see what's going on in there. So let's do it. I see one screw here and then a bunch of like, I mean, it looks like I have to pry open the plastic on all the other edges, but typically we have to do a, a tick to get that first. Let's do that. And I forgot what's in here, but it's Alps, one color and another. It's uh, Salmon Alps, it looks like. So that's... Cool. I do have, a, I'm starting to get about, I've probably got about six boards that are Alps. Um, these two apples and then a few other, maybe not six, maybe four or five, but um, some PC ones there. Um, I can tell you which ones are. Some Dells, uh, one Dell, ADT 101. What else can I see over there that might have? And it's all to see. I thought I'd wear that though. Oh well. Mm. Yeah. Well, maybe I only have three. I don't know why not. But take it what you get, right? Three is a good start. Wow, these are. These are hard to get off. I didn't read about it. I didn't read about it. I thought I were going to take a. I don't see caps, caps off, off, but this is a straight up lift, there's a tilt, tilt back and forth. Good to tell you, actually. Let's, let's try, let's, let's be brave and try to two caps off and see what it's got under. under. Oh, a single Alps of the gray variety. Oh, it stays down. Cool. Interesting. Mm. It doesn't look too dirty in there. I don't know if the person cleaned it. I kind of doubt it. Looks like maybe it wasn't overly used, and it wasn't, but it was in the sun. I'm guessing. But this is the tedious to get through all these. Some tab holes. Tab is a salmon.
should read about I'm going to take Alps to keep us off. Let's do that real quick. Just so in case I'm doing it wrong. Um, yeah, okay. How to remove keycap from Alps. Alps switches cleaning and restoring is probably a Thomas video. Without killing yourself. If you can do some yanking, okay, good, because that's what I was feeling too. And we got any tricks? Looks like everyone's talking about it, but the screwdriver method, okay, that sounds interesting. No, I'm not trying to remove the whole oh, it's Ripster's guide. Don't let this be you. Oh you can Oh wow, look at that. The the stems broke off inside. Ouch. Uh, gather up your favorite cue puller. I like the wire ones. Yeah, me too. This is what Alps switches look like. The stem is wider and the horizontal. Uh, pull firmly straight up. Don't wiggle. Okay. Well, the Omni says you shouldn't wiggle. I have found, though, that you should wiggle, but do it left to right to left. Okay, so Ripster's recommending. Let's see what is. Uh, if that doesn't work, stick a screwdriver to hold it down and pry it off. Oh, my God. I don't like the sound of that. Space bar is very bit. Uh, yeah, okay, that works. All right. Well, I can tell you right now, I do not like the look of the, the, the recommendation of the, the, uh, oh, let me get on the screen here. The recommendation, the recommendation of the screwdriver, I will not be doing, but the left, left to right to the left, left, that sounds, sounds promising. promising. But honestly, I think it's just a straight up, that's what matters, so. Last, Last key cap puller I had, I bent these, these so they were like pointing at a, you know, maybe a triangle, triangle at the end here or something like that. But I need to order some more because this is my last street. Last, last one that's not overly bent. bent. Can't, Can't remember what I ended up bending it on, but. to be restored in classic for the two. Uh, but the other one, one I'd probably read the... I'm interested in reading a set of Alps switches and uh, maybe be getting uh, Haas, whatever his name is, that made the 64 Alps PCD the late or whatever. Maybe making a modern board with the Alps in it, put them in it. Is it Hasu? I don't remember how to do that. Uh, that's not a group I go by recently, but other Alps uh, kit or board actually. But it was, it was ISO and I don't think I wanted to jump. I don't have any keycaps by the way that match that, so I decided not to do that. Maybe there'll be more to come. Wow, that one's. I felt like, like I might break the... These, these stems, stems are built pretty rugged. rugged. I don't see them breaking off in there. Like, and there's so, so much support, support on all four sides that it's not gonna break it off in my opinion. I guess, I guess I shouldn't jinx myself there. Yeah. yeah. Soothing sounds, sounds of and the keys out the keyboard. That's, That's not too big, but this is when you drop, drop them in a the pile. And... Yeah, yeah, I, I, I just, just had a good code that, that I had. Uh, my recycler streams were dried up, so um, 
did some eBay, eBay purchasing and got, got some amazing stuff. And uh, I gotta say, they're, they're all vintage. vintage. They're they're all, I got four, four of them that are old and they're just, just super thick and luxurious. Double shot, thick caps. And uh, well, the name of them is more than the caps, the uh, case is wonderful and full of restoration is in order. If we ever get the time, right? Yeah, it's, it's easy to take on too many projects. I guess since I have the stuff handy, I'll share another project I've been doing. I have a deck keyword that keeps you caps were. Big, big giant plastic, plastic plunger, so I, and it was brittle, so I broke off the plungers off of every keycap. This is uh, 3D printed with the new resin printer of El Gumar's, and uh, it's been doing iterations and measuring it, and uh, so there's the male cross right there. Here's the new stem I want to put in those keycaps. So I basically put it on here. You put this, the new stem or um, mount uh, onto, onto this, and then and suspend. This, this would go over the keycap, and it will fit just around its snug. And then I can inject uh, some bonding, some uh, scotch weld glue in there, and voila! I should have new, uh, should have new uh, cherry mix stems replacing what was in there before. So that's my current project. I'm putting a lot of time on it. But, but this is also blooming. I want to see how that silicon well. Like silicon, <laughs> silicon graphics. He never reacts to the. Because it's true. Nice. Because man, man, if that was got back to its dark granite and the caps are in a beautiful light granite, it's to die to die, die for. I gotta say, say these, you know, the italics. I'm not. I'm not. It doesn't, doesn't throw me. me. So, I haven't had enough hair other than maybe just having a restored one that looks vintage, I guess. I'd probably type on it and stuff. I am a Mac user. I was, I was Microsoft Windows my whole life, but um, my job is probably going to shift more into using a Mac to develop non you know, to develop JavaScript and things. So, and then we can add their hardware, like the Mac laptop is amazing. But uh, with this keyboard and these keys, I'd say no. Although, the keyboard is nice, and I do like, you know, I think everybody doesn't like nice logos, it's gorgeous. But, uh, so, you know, I, I look for ways to reinvigorate the, uh, the legacy keyboard. And uh, there's lots, lots of ways where you can take the inner job and put it in a new keyboard. But this one, I'd be inclined, inclined to try to work with this case. case. But so, so, so what if you're going to clean up a case, what can you do? Retro writing is a very common one, but I also have an idea to try my own hand at terracoding. I have all the gear to do this uh, setup at home, but I haven't done it yet. But I have all the pieces. Um, so, and so I envision attempting to serve the old cases that are awesome. This one might, might be nice. nice. I don't know what I'm going to do to maybe I'll pick one of these colors of, of the uh, apple, like that green. How sick would that be? Orange, no, it's really too much. But that little, I don't know. You can do some funky stuff. Well, let's try one of these. It's got a. Yeah. Okay. Well, it wasn't the right way to do that. So this shows me that the defeat came off. Um, see if I can get a focus from my camera on this. I think the yeah it clicked into there on this side, so it was like this, and uh, here's our stabilizer, then I'll pull out and set it in its own. Actually, where's my awesome uh, little Rama dish? I usually put my 
Yeah, stabilizer right there. That's an LED from. I should have kept better track because I don't remember where it goes right now. But so since I can see the wires, I know that it needs to pull out a little away. Oops. How did we do? I'm notoriously bad at all the stabilizers. I usually break something because I'm not, I don't know how to sort of delicately get them out or reverse engineer them when you can't even see what the, what the heck is going on underneath there. Oh, look at the banana bend in this thing. Here it goes. I don't know how to do this on camera. That's weird. Does it bend? No, it's intentionally that way. Nearly out, so the shift. I didn't realize that. Okay, and there's some down. There's that. Did I miss a stabilizer bar? I don't think so. Let's see if we can just shift it over here. Okay, came out. They're coming out nice, I guess. That one a big old scoop too, yeah. That's the biggest one yet. Let's see if we can get this uh, sweet star out of this. Yep. Oh well, so what does this have in it? Oh, it's got this hole with this round guy. And this um, switch in the middle, but nothing right here, so that's interesting. And then did I break it? Yes. No. I might have broke it. Let's see. Uh, I'm wondering what this is attached. I have a feeling I broke, probably broke this off, but maybe it goes in this little hole right here. But uh, get some like that square hole to the lower left of the. I don't know, I guess. It's so like it goes in there, but I don't know how to oh, get it back. Is this, this come, supposed, supposed to come off? off? Like, is it even possible? Or is it just a circle? No, yeah, you can see the piping there, so. Wow. Should I leave it on there, or should I? I'm gonna take, I'll try, try to leave it on, on there, I guess, and the, there. should be fine. And then not get lost. Oh, oh look, look at this, it's vertical. I didn't notice that. I don't even remember when I took that off, was that escape, I guess, no? Are these all gonna be vertical, or just that one? Oh, vertical. Well, wasn't it? I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, all the function keys are going to be vertical. Yeah, we're back to the more normal. That's interesting. 
interesting that all the bunch of these are. Let's see what, what is this over here? Is this my backwards play button? Is that? I wonder what that did. Injective disk or something strange. I can go look it up, I suppose. So it's got a, <coughs> let's look it up. Why not, right? Okay, desktop. Oh, I gotta go over to the real picture here, sorry. Um, AK, what is the backwards play button? <sighs> it's not gonna work, is it? Let's try. I could read about it here. Uh, not saying much there, is it? Uh, okay. Well. How about... Yeah, I don't know. Probably get a good hit from that, but I don't see it, so I give up for now. Or AK Apple Standard Keyboard. What is the play button? The power button? No, that doesn't spell that. All right, I give up. I tried. Okay, um, back to the boring. That's kind of funny. Delete has the arrow uh, going to the right, but it isn't. Oh, I guess backspace is that way, and delete is actually deleting the character in front. Okay. I eyes to see the arrow pointing to the right, but I guess it makes sense. Okay, let's switch in here. Arrow keys are horizontal. Yeah, 
turn. turn. Okay. okay. <clears throat> It's kind of like a lock, the lock in place, but so then it would raise up or
Nothing else is coming off easy, so is there ever just I've got a million help in there. That's kind of a key piece. I want to break it. It may be done because I'm going to have to go research this part because I can't take it out until I can remove those, remove those two, and then the whole thing will come out. I'm pretty sure. So unless I get some magic lead, how do I see what's going on here? So this ribbon is doing what? Oh, is this really going to come out? Maybe this stays with it. Okay. It does. Okay. Problem solved, I guess, you could say. The other side. There we go. There we go. Okay. Come on out. Yeah. Okay. There we go. There we go. Okay, now what are we stuck on? We're almost out. Oh, this side is mostly out. I guess this one's still stuck on something over here. There's some hidden screw on the top. Yeah, is there some screw? Nothing. I mean, these screws are not doing anything to hold the board in there, so what am I missing? Not this one. Oh, it is that. Okay, now I imagine we can pull up and voila, we have separation. Okay. Why? Oh, this is rubber, so this is dampening. So this is typical in a lot of keyboards, like if you look at the height of what's going on, um, they slope down and then by the time they get down to this side, they're just, there's no height left, but and maybe that they would have been touching the plastic, so they just have it get into this little mat, but probably just sound dampening, I guess. I okay, well, is there any rating on here? Maybe worth looking at? Probably not, but a little bit, it's upside down, but, uh, you know, rev with an upside down A, maybe, or B, and then uh, 815-112802 on this number, and I just forget, what is that supposed to say? Is that like a date and time? Let's see. Uh, 2010 and the fourth month, eighth day, I don't know, I, I'd have to look it up. So, did we, we all look at this since we didn't really look at it during the stare down, but. So, 1989 Apple computer registered, I don't know, this is a family M3501 keyboard, called the Apple Extended Keyboard 2 or AEK2. Um, yeah. So that's the bottom. Cool. And we're left with a plate with a PCB screwed into it. So here's the two screws that are holding the PCB to this metal plate. Um, let's see what we got for words on this guy. I don't know what any of this means, but maybe you guys will enjoy it. Uh, like token made this part on the right. There's some numbers on the keyboard on the plate eight one three something. Let me see if I can get that a little bit yeah. wipe up. Eight one five eleven two three one one two three B. Okay, then what do we got? NEC made this part chip. Uh, 1987 to 89 for Apple. Cool. Some capacitors. Motorola chip. Uh, 
Anything else? Okay. So let's. Uh, oh, this is going to say helps on it. Nice. So here you go. App helps or Apple Computer Inc. 1989. Super cool. Numbers mean anything? 101 on the traces. 100, 172. Every key, look, every uh, every switch location has a number. Now yeah, look up to the top. Let's see if we can find number one. Two, one. Yep, they're all there. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Um, why is this? Why are these? Tra uh, metal traces right there. The space bars involved with that, or is that where is it double sided so stuff comes through? I don't know how that works, but DMA teaches me a little bit, but I don't do it enough to learn it too well. Okay, that's actually kind of fun. A little teardown. Uh, let's keep these little parts together. Let's go anywhere. Let's go. This is too big to fit in the tray. This is too big to fit in the plastic bag. I'm going to put this stuff in. So here's some salmon else. Oh, this, they feel pretty good. I would say nothing really wrong with those. At least from the way. I don't, I've never actually spent time typing on else, but, um, but I need to do that at some point. Uh, spend, spend the time. These feel pretty good. Okay, uh, I can show you how I bag things up. We'll see that. Uh, I need to find. Uh, I do have an electrostatic bag that I actually put the PCB in. If I can find where those are, I can get more there. They're in this box. Does this fit? No. Oh. Yeah. It would be bent, it would be bent, but let's see if we can get that in there first, because that might help us see this in time. But a gallon would clear. Oh, that's not bad. Okay. So I get these little bags that I put the little guys in, so I'm going to put uh, the stabilizer bars in the and cable hold down thingy. This one, this one's probably too big for this. It is, so I'll, I'll put it in there loose with that one. A little scary, but uh, should be fine. So how many of these we got? I guess if I say it out loud on the video, that might help. Them later. Three, four, Five of the little guys and one medium guy. Let's get this open. This is the screw that held the back of the case on. Put that in there. Get five of these guys going. Get in there, boys. So those will be in their own little bag. And uh, so we'll put that in. This one I'm a little worried about, but I'll put it at the bottom of this and it should be fine. 
Make sure, sure we we'll just leave those two in their own bag and, and put this in there with it. Okay. Starting to formulate a plan here. That's that. And then I will use this bag to put the keycaps in. Thank you.